Now let us see the next question. Add the following integers. Add the following integers without using number line. So it is difficult to add the integers always using the number line. So we can also add the integers without using number line. So while adding two positive integers, we add the two integers as we add the two whole numbers or natural numbers. And when we add the two negative integers, so we will add the two negative integers as we add the whole numbers and the result will take the negative sign. So then when we add a positive integer and a negative integer or when we add a negative integer and a positive integer, so then we have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number without considering its sign. Then we should put the bigger number sign to the result. Now let us take the first question. 11 plus of minus 7. So here a positive integer and a negative integer. So then we have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So then 11 minus 7 is 4 and the bigger number 11 has plus sign. So we have to put the plus sign to the sum means plus 4 or it can be written as 4. Next minus 10 plus 19 so here also a negative integer and a positive integer when we add a negative integer and a positive integer then we have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number without considering their signs then 19 minus 10 is 9 then the bigger number 19 has plus sign so we have to take plus 9 to the result next minus 250 plus 150 so here also a negative integer and a positive integer. So when we add the negative and positive integers, then we have to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So then 250 minus 150 means without considering the signs, we should subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So then 250 minus 150 is 100 and the bigger number 250 has minus sign. So we take the minus 100. Next when the 2 minus 380 plus of minus 270 here the two negative integers are added so when we add two negative integers so we will add them as we add the whole numbers so then 380 plus 270 so 0 8 plus 7 15 1 plus 3 4 plus 2 6 so 650 and the result will take minus sign so as the two numbers are negative integers, so their sum also the negative integer minus 650. So in this way, we can add either the two positive integers or two negative integers or a positive integer and a negative integer. Now let us see the next question. Find the sum of the following integers. Now the first question 137 and minus 354. So when we add 137 plus of minus 354 so here a positive integer and a negative integer added so when we add a positive and a negative integer we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number so then without considering the sign so then 354 minus 137 will subtract so carry 10 plus 4 14 minus 7 7 6 uh, here 4 and 4 minus 3 is 1 then 3 minus 1 2 so this is 217 and the bigger number 354 has minus sign so we take the minus 217 now the next question minus 312 39 and 192 so we take minus 312 plus 39 plus 192 so here first we take minus 312 same then we will add these two positive integers so 192 plus 39 so 9 plus 2 11 1 plus 9 10 plus 3 13 1 plus 1 2 so it is 231 
and here a negative integer and a positive integer is there. So when we add the negative integer and the positive integer, we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So then 312 minus 231. So 2 minus 1, 1. 11 minus 3, 8. And 2 minus 2, 0. So then we get 81. And the bigger number has minus sign, so we take the minus 81. Next, minus 50 plus minus 200 plus 300. Here, two negative integers and a positive integer are added. So when we add two negative integers, we will add them as they are the whole numbers and we put the negative sign. So then 200 plus 50 is 250 and the sign is negative so minus 250 plus 300. Now when we add a negative integer and a positive integer so then we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number. So 300 minus 250 50 and the bigger number has plus sign so it is the plus 50. Now let us solve the next question. Find the sum in the first question minus 7 plus of minus 9 plus 4 plus 16. So the first two integers are negative and the last two integers are positive. So while adding the two negative integers we will add them as the whole numbers then we will put the negative sign. So then minus 7 plus minus 9 is minus 16 plus here yeah, the two positive integers are added 16 plus 4 20 with the same sign plus sign and when we add a negative integer and a positive integer we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number without considering their signs so then 16 20 so 20 minus 16 4 and the bigger number 20 has plus sign so we take the plus sign so the final sum is 4 and the second question 37 plus of minus 2 plus of minus 65 plus of minus 8. So here the first integer is the positive integer and the last three integers are negative integers. So we take the positive integer as it is 37 and we add the three negative integers as we add the whole numbers. And here 8 plus 2 10, 10 plus 65 75 and the sign also same minus so plus of minus 75. So then while adding a positive integer and a negative integer then we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number without considering the sign. So we subtract 37 from 75. So we carry 10 plus 5 15, 15 minus 7 8 and 6 minus 3 3 38. And the bigger number 75 has minus so we write minus 38. So far we have added the integers with the help of a number line. Now let us learn how to subtract an integer from another integer with the help of a number line. Now let us write the heading subtraction of integers The help of a number line. Now, for example, if you want to subtract. 3 minus 7 means 7 minus 3. Now the subtraction of an integer from another integer is same as adding the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted to the other integer. So 7 plus of minus 3. So now let us draw the number line. minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 
minus 4 to the left of 0 and positive numbers to the right of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and so on now if we want to find the addition of 7 and minus 3 using the number line so first 7 means we move from 0 to 7 units to the right so this is 7 and while adding the negative integer so then we move to the left starting from 7 so then this is even applicable in case of the subtraction so when 7 minus 3 so here when here positive integer is subtracted from an integer then we move to the left so 1 2 3 so then this is 3 subtracted so then we move to the left then we have reached at 4 so then 7 minus 3 equals to 4 so when the positive integer is subtracted from an integer then we have to move to the left so as many units as the number in number being subtracted now if you want to find eight minus of minus five so this equals to eight so subtracting an integer from an another integer means the addition of the addi additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted so we write plus and we write the additive inverse of minus 5 so that is plus 5 now if you draw the number line minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and so on. So first let us represent 8. So from 0 to 8 units. So this is 8. And plus 5 means we have to move again to the right of 8. So then 5 units have to move to the right of 8. Then even this the subtraction so when the negative integer is subtracted then we move to the right so more 5 units 1 2 3 4 5 so we have reached at 13 so then the result is 8 minus of minus 5 equals to 13 so when the negative integer is subtracted we move to the right and when the positive integer is subtracted we move to the left so this is quite opposite to the addition case so whereas in the addition so when the positive integer is added we move to the right so when the negative integer is added we move to the left so whereas in the subtraction when the positive integer is subtracted we move to the left and when the negative integer is subtracted we move to the right so this is units so we can understand that the subtraction of an integer from another integer is same as the addition of the integer that is being subtracted to the other integer so then a minus b can be written as a plus of minus b so then 16 minus 11 equals to 5 and 16 minus of minus 11 so this equals to 16 so minus of minus becomes plus 11 so this equals to 27 so otherwise you can write the subtraction can be changed as addition by replacing the additive inverse of the integer that is being subtracted so here also 16 minus 11 we can write 16 plus of minus 11 so when you change the subtraction as the addition then we have to take the additive inverse of the 11 that is minus 11 if you like this video please give a thumbs up
प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल टू गेट मोर वीडियोज ऑन सी बी एस सी सिलेबस